Hey guys, it's Monday morning. Just played some Ring Fit Adventure and I need to hurry up and dye my hair, get ready, etc. I want to do Christmas shopping today and I want to try to do all of it. I'm doing this a little late because if there's something I end up wanting to order online, it's kind of too late unless I'm ordering from Amazon or something. <laughs> But I've just been busy with like the store launch then try to catch up on videos. Yesterday was a huge editing day. I edited an art video and then I edited the pin packaging ASMR and got that uploaded. The art video is also uploaded. I'm just waiting for it to be approved today. So yeah, that's what I did until 6.30 yesterday. And then I did a live stream because I needed to do a weekend stream. But instead of playing Pokemon, I unboxed more dolls and I'm making good progress. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But yeah, I think with one more doll stream, I can have them all done. So I think this week's Wednesday stream will be doll unboxing just because like I need it done. I want it done before Christmas. So yeah, I can show you progress, but I took dolls out of the case so it doesn't look as good as it did yesterday. This is what it looks like. The top shelf was full, but I took stuff out before I went to bed because the shelf is sagging like it's bowing. So I want to strengthen it. There's a couple ways I could do it. First of all, I only put in two of the four shelves, so I could double up on the shelves and therefore the glass would be twice as thick. But I'm kind of concerned, is that too much weight for these knobs here? I'm not sure, like these little black knobs that are holding it up. Also, we'd have to take the doors off to put more shelves in. So I feel like that's kind of a last resort. What I want to try doing is installing a bracket in the middle of the shelf. Obviously, I can't screw into the glass though, so I'd have to use sticky adhesives like command strips, that sort of thing. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff today. Try to get the command strips and brackets. It's going to be a lot of running around. A lot of running around. There's more dolls down there. Those are the ones that were up top. I ultimately decided to leave some of these on their bases because their stands aren't removable. And the bases are small enough that they're not too intrusive. It does suck for the bigger ones though. This is the same style case, but they started making the cases bigger. So I'm kind of torn if I want to take them off or not because I will have to buy some 12 inch doll stands. I have some doll stands already, but they're made for 17 inch dolls. So they're, these, uh, these dolls are a bit too small for those. So these are the dolls I've left unboxed. Plus there's three more, well, three sets of two <laughs> in the warehouse. I also need to install command hooks on the back of the shelf, like behind the cabinet on the back side so I can hang a string of lights, the one I opened up in the last vlog. This, this curtain of lights, it'll look so good. Isn't that right, Mushy Moo? Anyway, I'm gonna hurry up, dye my hair. It's really oily today because I need to wash it today, but I, ha I don't have any other hair product in my hair, other than maybe like a bit of, a bit of hairspray, but there's no dry shampoo in it. So it's like a clean greasiness. <laughs> Greasy, but a clean grease. <laughs> so that's probably a good time to bleach it. Because it's worse if you bleach your hair when it's clean, so yeah, I should just do it. But I really want to get to Granville Island to do some shopping there because they have lots of cool shops. So I'm hoping if I get there somewhat early in the day on a Monday that it won't be too busy. But I also need to go to Chit Chats first, which is all the way down in Richmond. And then go up to Granville Island and then just run around everywhere else I need to go. Maybe go to Metro Town, maybe Walmart. Maybe I have to go to, you know, maybe Walmart has brackets. Because I'm thinking Walmart for the command strips. They might have brackets. If not, I might, might go to Canadian Tire. I don't know. I'm going to be all over the place hunting for stuff. Hair dye is in. <laughs> I can pretty much rinse it very soon because when I got the bleach in, I didn't have much time before I had to rinse it because my hair lightens very fast. While the bleach was sitting in my hair, I wrote down a list of the orders I have to do and what I have to do with them. And now I can fulfill those orders while I let the pink sit in my hair. And there they are. Woohoo! I ran out of the bubble mailers, so I've been sending people stuff in the Canadian boxes. I actually love the way they look not in an envelope because if they're being shipped within Canada, they have to be in an envelope. Otherwise it's not classified as letter mail, but for international, it's considered a parcel. This one's actually for the US, but yeah, it just has a print in there. So that's how I packaged it. 
I could also use regular envelopes with a bunch of chipboard, either would work. But for the future, I'm gonna order more cardboard mailers. And I'll still use chipboard to just stiffen it a little bit more, but uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the alternative to bubble mailers. Uh, I gotta bring all these boxes downstairs at some point today. <laughs> right now though, I'm gonna wash my hair. Well, rinse it out. Okay, here's the hair. It's actually doing a lot better these past few months, like it's improved between now and like three to four months ago. I'm noticing a lot less breakage. It just feels fuller. Like if I pull it back into a pony and just hold it to see how thick it is, it's thicker. So that's good. It's obviously still damaged. It's not gonna just like instantly get better, but I'm noticing big improvements. I'm not gonna wear my extensions today because one, I remembered I have to wash them. So I did wash them and they're hang drying. Plus, they would be a little bit too light for the color my hair is right now. It's always a little neon when I first dye it, especially if there's fresh bleach. That's when it gets really neon. So, I'm gonna go without for today. My hair is actually probably gonna go crazy because it's humid out, it's kinda rainy. So I was looking up Chit Chat's locations and there is a location close to downtown. So I kind of want to try going there because it's more on the way instead of going all the way down to Richmond. I just hope I can get a parking spot. I looked at the Google satellite image for that area and there is a parking lot, but it's for several businesses. And there's maybe, like there's less than 20 stalls for all those businesses. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> So I'm like, should I try it? Should I hope I can find a parking spot? Or do I just go to the other location, which is more out of the way? So I went to see what time Granville Island closes. It closes at seven, so I have lots of time. But their phone number is 666-6655. 666. <laughs> 666. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, it's just a little, it's a place where there's lots of little shops and there's a farmer's market type area. It's a cute place. There's there's neat shops there, which is why I want to go there. Okay. <laughs> I finally made it to Chit Chats. I'm out of breath because I was running. That was a wild goose chase to find this place. Oh my God. Like I had Google Maps, but it was still a wild ride. I finally made it. There's like no parking. I'm parked in this little cul-de-sac thing right by some train tracks. There's an open gate I probably should not be parked so close to, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm just gonna get out of here before I get in trouble for parking here. There's a lot of other cars parked in here, but I'm the one who's close to the gate, so I got a game. We're fogging up! Chit Chats is just like right there on the corner of that turquoise building. So, yeah, Ooh, made it. I could not see the parking lot that I could see on Google Maps, but that's okay. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay. I made it. I am starving, so I'm gonna find a bathroom and then get a bite to eat. It's really eerie. There aren't many people walking around. It's, it's creepy. Oh, best the art store, yeah. Although I'm probably not going in there. I'm trying to make my way towards the market area and I'll find food in there. To be honest, I don't know what there all is. this butternut squash salad. It's really good. And this pink grapefruit drink too. The soap dispenser in the bathroom is a little wild. It's too close to the faucet so as I'm trying to rinse my hands it just keeps squirting more soap. <laughs> it's like the never ending hand washing. Anyway, now I'm on the hunt for gifts. Okay, I got some stuff in the market. I do want more though, so I'm gonna keep hunting around. I just thought I'd film this because it looks all pretty. 
All the Christmas lights. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going next. <laughs> I can show you some of the stuff I got later for the people who don't watch my vlogs, but anything I got for my mom, I can't show you. <laughs> I keep going in these little shops that I'm not comfortable filming in. It just feels so invasive doing so. So I'm like, Ooh. you know, I just keep filming outside. Okay, so most of my shopping is done, but not all of it. I really needed to get everything done today, but I just ran out of time. I stayed at the mall right, pretty much right up until it closed. Like I left a few minutes before it closed, but I was just blitzing some final stores and I'm just like, you know, I'll go back tomorrow. <laughs> but I'll show you some things I did get. So we're doing Secret Santa style, well not secret, just like gift exchange style where you don't buy for everyone. So on Christian's side of the family, I have one of his brothers. And we're specifically doing this one stocking stuffer style. So I have a bunch of smaller things. We have this towel. <laughs> uh, hot buns are ready. Buns, buns, buns. And there are these cherry chocolate hazelnuts. I actually sampled these because the guy at the table offered some. And I sampled these, which are maple sriracha pecans. <laughs> Christian looks over. They're really good. This I did not sample. It is a beer chipotle mustard. I don't know, something interesting. And there's this little set of fudge. There's four different kinds. And some socks. I couldn't decide who gets what socks because I have these cute dragons over here. These ones are really cute at the bottom though. Look at this. This is the part that would show. I think that's cute kind of Christmas sweater pattern. And then a cactus there. <laughs> and then there are chip clips. Yeah, chip clips that are shaped like chips. <laughs> okay this one i'm like why did i buy it i think it would be less weird if it wasn't rose gold but that's all they had they're nail clippers but there's one set shape like a hand and one set shape like a foot <laughs> christian what do you think of these <laughs> interesting yeah i don't know I don't know about those. I'm on the fence still. <laughs> and then he's also going to get a beer, like some kind of craft beer. And then we should get some scratch tickets too, Christian, yeah. for the stockings. But I figured we might as well wait till we're in Alberta because they can't cash in their BC lotto tickets if they win something. So, yeah. yeah. So that was that one, stocking stuffer style. Bibi. So then on... My side of the family, I got my sister's fiance, Anthony. I really had no clue what to get him, but whatever. So he's getting the, the dragon socks and the Dorito style chip clips, or just tortilla, I suppose. So then he gets this, which is handmade. I got it at Granville Island. This is the kind of unique stuff I was looking for. So it's made to look like wood bark, and it's a mug, but it's so cool. And they had all kinds of handmade stuff like this there, like little shot glasses, little coasters, different styles of mugs, but I just think this looks so cool. So he's getting that, and I got another one for my dad. They're all slightly different, because they're handmade, so they're all unique. But uh, yeah, it pretty much looks like that. So Christian got my dad for the secret setup, but I just picked up some stuff, because I don't know, I, was, I just saw it. So yeah, he gets the same mug. And then, oh, this is kind of dirty. Oops. Is that for my bag or was it already like that? Whatever. It's <laughs> another one of these. <laughs> I think my dad will get a kick out of that. He always sends me 
really lame jokes like that. <laughs> lame but hilarious. So he's getting that too. It'd be nice to get him one other thing. A lot of the shops though on Granville Island were closed and I don't know if it's because it was Monday or if they just closed really early, but it was kind of a bummer because there's some I wanted to go into. Like there's a leather place and I thought maybe get him a really nice belt or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna go all the way back to Granville Island tomorrow. Anyway, then I also got this. It's a ring holder. I got it for my sister. Technically I don't have her, but I have some stuff I got her in Hawaii that I'm giving her. It's because it's a birthday, belated birthday present for her. <laughs> Our birthdays were in October, so uh, I'll just include this as part of her birthday present. And then I got something for our niece, Ruby. Uh, she was a big fan of the first Frozen. So I got some Frozen 2 dolls. They don't have a Disney store where they live, so I got the nice Disney store ones. And I got this little set of figures. It comes with a bunch of the characters. Just pretty fun. It even has the water horse. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Kiki! Must you? Okay, they're fine. They're fine, they're good. Wow. I didn't get anything for you, Christian. Well, I got you those socks that I already gave you. <laughs> Let me show that to you guys. They have some amazing ort on them. It's this hilarious drawing. It's like one more episode. And then it's like, okay, one more episode. <laughs> but I just love the little kitty with it. I was like, that's so Christian. Christian and Midna. So, there you go. That's all you get. I actually saw something I might get you. It's not one of the things you requested, though. That's fine. But I was like, this is so Christian. <laughs> I have one thing I want to do real quick, which is get up a coloring page because... While I was gone, my YouTube video went live, and I said there would be a free coloring page, and I totally forgot to do that. So I am finally home now, and I can do that. I have the line art scanned, but I have not stitched it together or cleaned it up. So I'm going to quickly do that, because we want to watch the, the season finale of The Voice. What am I doing? Why did I open Google Chrome? We need Photoshop! Why do I have so many files open? Oh, the holiday rush, dude. Holidays stress me the F out. Honestly, I should just take a hiatus every year where I just don't post anything for the last two weeks of December. <laughs> Business-wise, that's not smart of me because December is the highest paying month of the year, so certain people try to get out extra videos, and I'm like, I can't even get out my usual amount of videos in December. <laughs> Next year, I would definitely do my store launch earlier because... First of all, international people are not going to have their pins in time for Christmas. Some of them may be, but probably most people won't. And also, it, it was just a lot for me dealing with that at the beginning of December, because like that's not what I need in December is a store launch. <laughs> so next time, it'll probably be earlier. I was trying to think it through, and next year there might only be three store launches instead of four, because if I do every three months, you'd think there'd be four, but it might actually average out to be three because I would need to be on top of it to order stuff for the next one. So there's going to be kind of a delay. Plus I want that early Christmas launch. So probably for just three store launches next year. Okay. What am I doing? I've, obviously I can't navigate through my files and talk at the same time. Baby. A baby geeky. Trying to stitch this together. Okay, that one's lined up, but is it lined up down here? No, no it's not. It never is. <laughs> oh, oh, that seems like a happy medium where both look okay. I'm gonna have to crop, make sure there's no dust bits to erase, and then we're good to go. Last night, Christian and I were watching the Demon House documentary by Zach Bangins. <laughs> and we finished it, but there's like deleted 